Hello everyone, it's KFB back with another video in my how-to series created exclusively for OCRP. This video series focuses on how to perform the different job types in the GTA Roleplay Live servers, specifically in OCRP. Let me know any of your questions or concerns in the comments below, and don't forget to click the like button if this video helped you out afterwards. In this video, I'll show you how the mining job works, whether you rent a dump truck or you use your own. With the mining job, you can make a lot of money, but it also takes quite a bit of time. This video is meant as a guide for those who are not sure how to perform the job and a trick or two for others who are newer at it. As always, I need to select the role from the job center, and I'm already hanging out at the main job center located at 3 Alta Street, Postal 382. Let's go inside and select the minor role. Now that I have the minor role, let me give you an overview on the entire job. You'll always need to change into the worker's clothing for each job type in order to interact with that specific job. As a miner, you won't be able to mine, clean rocks, or sell any items without this step. For this, I'll drive to the miner's locker room to clock in for work. The locker room is on Orchardville Avenue in Cypress Flats, Postal 60, right here. Then, I'll get a mining truck and drive it up to the Davis Quarry. I'll mine some stone before taking them over to the wash racks in Harmony to clean all the dirt off the rocks. After the rocks are clean, they're ready for processing at the smelter. The smelter is located right here. The smelter separates the elements and then prepares them for selling. Once you finish smelting, you can sell the elements in any order you choose, but I prefer to be efficient with time and gas. I'll sell copper at the docks, iron at the construction yard, gold at the bank, finally any rare diamonds that I may find at the Vangelico Jeweler. Setting a waypoint for the miner's locker room, Postal 60. Let's go make some money. I'm going to store my vehicle in the garage so it doesn't get stolen or vandalized while I'm out mining. If you already own a truck, change clothes and head to the Davis Quarry. For now, I'll head to the locker room and change into the workers' clothes. Now, I'm ready to mine. Gotta grab a truck and go. I'm headed to the Davis Quarry to mine rocks. Nearest postal code, 962. Warning, make sure you watch your gas. Fill up right at the beginning. You can also get gas right across the street from the quarry at Owls, postal 960 if you need fuel. Once you get to the quarry, if you didn't already, Set a GPS waypoint for the mining spot. Those roads can get confusing. Make sure to yield to any vehicles that drive down the road. The loaded trucks always have the right of way. Back up into the yellow circle if you can. You may need to get out and move the loader that spawns in the way, or you can actually use that to RP this. Just make sure you stay inside the yellow circle in your mind. While I'm mining, I like to use forward slash emote drill.
Once you get 35 rock, you're full. 35 doesn't seem like that much, but we're just getting started. You can also put 35 into the truck's trunk by pressing the minus key, selecting the rock, enter the quantity, pressing submit, and then mine 35 more, just like that. Remember, if the server restarts and you do not own the vehicle, you will only keep whatever is in your personal inventory when you come back. You'll also need to go back to the locker room and get changed all over again. Now I have 35 rock in the truck and 35 in my inventory. Time to watch these suckers. This is done at the wash point on Joshua Road, nearest postal 924, right here. Pull up to the yellow circle and press E to start washing the rocks. Now there is a limit of 35 washed rocks that you can have in your inventory at any time. If you try to wash more than 35, it will, but you will lose them in the process. So wash 35, put them in the trunk of the truck by pressing the minus and transferring them to the trunk. That, take 35 rocks from the trunk, transfer them to your inventory, and then wash those. All done. Everything is now washed, so time to head down to the smelter and turn washed rocks into valuables. The smelter is located on Labor Place in La Mesa, nearest postal 174. There are two entrances, one here and one on the other side in case another worker is doing the same thing you are. Here's the entrance. Right here. Like the wash rack, there are inventory limits. You'll have to run back and forth to transfer items if you are smelting larger quantities. Make sure to lock your truck to prevent burglary. It sucked to do all the work for someone else's benefit. Note, at the time of this video, the vehicle locks work, but a few days later it was removed to solve a server issue. Whether or not you can lock your vehicle all depends on what's going on with the server. After all your ores smelted and converted into valuable metals, it's time to sell them. I'm going to Palace Place in Elysian Island, which is at Postal 30 to sell the copper. All of my copper is in the truck, and there is a limit on how much you can have in your inventory. I'll try 210. Copper sells for $23 per unit.
All done. Now I'll go sell the iron. The customer is waiting for me at the construction site on Power Street in Pillbox Hill, Postal 393. Same as the others. Transfer some of the iron, sell, and grab more. You'll receive $70 per unit of iron. Now I head to downtown Vinewood, to the Fleeca Bank on Vinewood Avenue. It's the red money symbol at Postal 575. to the bank and press E to start giving away your gold at the current rate of $40 per unit. After these crooks ripped us off for the price of gold, there is one last stop if you have any diamonds. Angelico Jewelers, they buy diamonds at a fair price of $1,400 per diamond. They're located at Postal 697 in the middle of the mall. Parking is a pain, so I'll go back to the locker room and drop this beast off. Get my own vehicle before driving back up to Portola Drive in Rockford Hills. Once I get back to the miner's locker room, I'll return the truck and hopefully get my deposit back. And stay inside the truck when you return it. Now I'll grab my personal vehicle, and you'll notice I've already changed clothes using the M menu. So when I walk into the jewelry store, I don't smell all dirty and nasty. Don't forget to put money in the parking meter. This will prevent the city cops driving Impalas from issuing you a parking ticket. You are crazy. Head into Vangelico's and sell those diamonds. All right, that's the default method of mining. If you have your own truck, the process is identical, but you'll have more safety in storing those items in your truck instead of the rental if the server restarts. And there you have it. That should explain the basics of mining. If you have any helpful comments, just enter them below. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button if this video helped you out and also hit that subscribe button if you want to know when my next how-to video is released. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.